When it comes to ufology, there's only one name you can trust. The Cousins Brothers. Blake Cousins. Brent Cousins. And introducing their cousin, Bill Brothers. Welcome back, world. We're doing it again. It's Friday, and it is time to take calls from around the world in regards to this UFO phenomenon. It's happening right now, and you know it. You've seen a UFO. Most people probably have, but they're not going to tell anybody because they're afraid to share their experience, and that's why we're here. That's why we have the lines open every Friday to share your story. So let's go to some callers. They are lining up. And it will be something I'm sure we've never heard before. So let's let's prepare ourselves and have an open mind to whatever's out there. Five four one, you're live. Welcome to the show. Hello, Blake. Am I on? Hey, first time caller, long time listener. Listen, I just want to say I'm such a huge fan, and I think what you guys are going through is bullshit. Having all these debunkers coming out, destroying all your videos. That's that's not fair. That's not right. Like, take this one guy. First, you have a uh, UFO theater. And he comes out. He thinks he can go and debunk you guys just because his videos are incredibly accurate and full of professional quality. That's not fair just because he knows what he's doing. I mean, come on, give me a break, right? Right. And now you got this insane fucking psychopath, UFO proof. This fucking guy thinks he's the fucking shit. Oh, just because his girlfriend is incredibly hot and he constantly likes to cuss and make fun of you guys for being fucking hoaxers. I mean... That's not fair. That's that's not debunking. I'm just saying I'm pretty sure he sits around all day injecting needles full of marijuana, okay? Because that's the kind of guy that he is. Trust me, I guarantee you that's what he does, okay? He's definitely a fucking freak, guaranteed. He looks like your cousin, you, uh, Bill Brothers. He looks just like him, but still, I just, I don't trust the guy. He's evil. He's definitely evil. He doesn't, he doesn't know anything about debunking. I, I mean, he doesn't know the first thing about it, and especially to real ufologists like you guys. Come on, give me a break, right? Like, take for instance, this Palladian spacecraft right here hiding up in the clouds in this photograph. All right, now, those guys say it's just a reflection of a ceiling lamp through a window. <laughs> Right, yeah, I know. I laughed when I heard it too. It's obvious a Palladian spacecraft hiding in the clouds. I mean, those silhouette designs around the edge of it, <laughs> those aren't just the normal earthly designs. Those are alien cryptic speech. Everybody knows that. I don't see why anybody else would think it's one of the half dome lamps that sticks up to the top of a ceiling. That's that's fucking retarded. I don't know who would believe such an incompetent story. Or what about your video with the plane that's flying backwards? I mean, now, now, come on, now, let's let's be realistic about this, okay? When it starts clipping and getting small like that, and pieces of it start missing and, and shit like that, I mean, when it goes in, invisible, that's what alien planes do. Everybody knows that, okay? Everybody knows that alien planes kind of, like, flip in and out, and they lose, like, their back tail and half the fuselage and wing and stuff at, like, certain times. That's just what they do. I mean, I don't understand why these guys are even questioning such an authentic video as this. This is probably one of the, the more realistic videos and credible ones I have seen from you guys. I mean, come on. Like, right there, the whole tail just disappeared. That's completely normal. That is what happens when you have an alien space plane. Duh! What about that one? The one in Texas? Okay, I mean... Come on now, you gotta admit, that is straight up a draconian battle cruiser. Everybody knows that. I mean, anyone who says anything else is, is fucking crazy, okay? I mean, there's no way in hell that that is the inside pieces of a water pump. I mean, to a Jeep. I mean, that's just definitely not it, okay? I don't know who would say that, but that's, I mean, that's not it. I mean, sure, they look almost identical, but that's not it, I'm telling you, okay? That's draconian spaceship. I mean, you know, the fact that they think that all these UFO videos that you guys produce are like, you know, pieces of, of your car is ridiculous, okay? I mean, like this, for instance, right here, I can guarantee, I guarantee there is no way that this is a thermostat. It's just, it's just not. It's not a thermostat, okay? 
I mean, I know a gray alien ship when I see one, okay? Do I see one right here? Yes, I do. I do not see a thermostat from a Jeep. I don't see it. I don't see how anyone else sees that too. I think it's ridiculous, okay? I mean, honestly, honestly, do they even look similar? Do they? Exactly. No. One of them looks like an alien spacecraft. The other one looks like a fucking piece of a, a Jeep. That's what it looks like to me. I, here we go again. Another one. They want to say that this is just a reflection of a hanging ceiling lamp with a animal silhouettes running around the outside of it. Like that's like that's a common thing people have ever seen before. No one buys stuff like that. It doesn't even exist. So I don't know why they would try to use that and say that's what it is. But that's okay. Because guess what? I've got the perfect way to pay them back. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell all of your fans and all of Secure Team 10's fans and all of, you know, these kind of, uh, you know, real ufologists. We're going to have all of their subscribers go and talk shit to them. And I got the perfect way to attack them. We're going to say they're jealous. No one in history has ever thought of anything this clever. You see? You see how it'll work? Because they have less subscribers than you. So that means you guys, they're just jealous of you, right? Right, yes. Even though all the people who will probably go and say that to them probably have less subscribers than they do, in theory, it should still work. You get what I'm saying? I mean, come on, you guys. <laughs> come on. It's perfect, right? And if that doesn't work, we always have our backup plan. We'll call them shills for the government. That's right. That'll, oh, that one always works. They work for the government. So, of course, they're going to debunk you guys. Duh. See? Oh, God, we're so smart. All right. Now that the debunking's over with, let's move on to me mocking these fucking stupid ass pieces of retarded fucking monkey shit. All right? This whole episode right here is all about their petroglyphs in Hawaii. And this is what's really funny. If you're paying attention to this video, hmm, doesn't he seem to be walking weird? That's because he has a cord running up his pant leg to a microphone that's in his shirt. Look at him. Look how fucking stupid he looks. I can't fucking believe it, dude. This is not the only video that it does this in, too. It's so fucking funny. He has a cord running up his pant leg and into his shirt. He's like, he's got it in there right now. And he's just like, oh, he's all stiff like fucking Frankenstein over there. Oh, it's so fucking funny. And you can see, like, this hidden mic in certain scenes, and it's just fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, see, it's coming out the back. Like, you can see it behind his leg pop out first. There you go, see? Ha ha ha, what a fucking douchebag, ponytail-looking faggot. God damn, I hate this bitch. Oh, God, I just want to slam their fucking... Br take the brothers, grab them by the fucking ponytails, and slam their fucking faces together. And tell them to get the fuck out of the UFO field. No one wants you here, you pieces of fucking shit. See, now, if you look closely, you can see where the microphone is stashed on the tree right next to him. <laughs> is that fucking funny or what, dude? You broke pieces of shit. Who would fucking work for your stupid cousin's productions, okay? God damn, dude. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go to the cousin's. Oh, look at this. Look at the cord. It's over the fucking fence pole. Look at that. Look at it hanging down. Look at this shit, dude, running up like between his crotch. Are you fucking kidding me, you stupid asses? Who the fuck takes these guys seriously? Who, for real? Who takes these guys seriously? It drives me fucking crazy. And these fucking assholes don't know the first thing about a fucking petroglyph. They have no idea. They're like, oh, these are fucking alien petroglyphs. No, no, they're not. <laughs> okay, I mean, they blatantly, they know exactly what a lot of these petroglyphs actually mean, which is rare considering a lot of petroglyphs like in the Americas, they don't have a clue what they mean because the civilization that created them still live there <laughs> you know so it's like their stories were still passed on you know people still know about king kamehameha and stuff so they still they have that like this right there he's like oh yeah this is a gray a gray alien this is a fucking bird man <laughs> okay and if i got some clearer pictures i'll pop those guys up for you so you can see what it looks like he's like oh yeah it's a fucking alien look at a little microphone in his hand what a stupid ass dude he's like it's a gray alien look at its feet you see right there you see, it's got long fucking arms. It's meant to dress like a bird. That's because the people of Hawaii, the warriors of Hawaii, actually dressed like birds. They would wear uh, a hollowed out gourd over their head. 
and that's how they would go to war. They would cover themselves in feathers and shit. They look like birds. That's what we were trying to mimic. Right here, he says, oh, yeah, this is uh, alien abduction. Right there, that's alien abduction. Oh, is it? Oh, I mean, it's definitely not, you know, a birthing stone that shows, you know, a woman giving birth to her family, which is what everyone in Hawaii says, but alien abduction. And he certainly <laughs> doesn't understand the fucking, the three things. He's like, look at the antennae sticking out of the head. No, that's the grass, because they would wear, like, these grass-like crown type things. And that bottom triangle, he goes, oh yeah, that, that's obviously indicative of a rocket ship. Or possibly the sign that they fucking wear, that uh, the males wear for their fucking warrior dance. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm fucking positively right. <laughs> fucking stupid ass. Get that goddamn microphone out of your fucking shirt and take it and shove it up your fucking ass, you piece of shit. Look at it, I can see it running right right by his fucking nipple, going down his fucking shirt, and out of his fucking asshole. Here's another fucking video, only this time the cord's in his hand, because the mic's in his pocket, you fucking stupid ass. Now he's just swung it around. It's funny, as he looks, as he's walking, so he doesn't step on it. It's so fucking funny, you fucking stupid ass piece of fucking shit. See, it's sticking out of his pocket, you dumbass. What a fucking buffoon. Yeah, you're going to step on it. Look at it again. You better look again, you idiot. All right, so before I go, let me tell you guys about a couple things. One, make sure you keep on the lookout for my next video coming up um, about in-focus UFOs. Because I guarantee you, it's going to blow you guys away. You're going to fucking love it. And another thing I'd like to say is that uh, the newest video from Secure Team 10 um he basically comes out at the end and calls me a government shill. All right. Now, he doesn't actually say my name. That's because in the UFO hoaxing world, my name is like fucking Voldemort. And you goddamn right, you better never fucking say my name, you son of a bitch. I will come over there and shove my foot up your ass and kickstart you like a fucking moped, you hoaxing piece of shit. Get the fuck out of the UFO field. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. All right. Before I get out of here, I want to give a special shout out to Olaf Rockner for drawing me this kick-ass fucking picture of an alien skull with my tattoo on his forehead. It's fucking bad as fuck, and I super appreciate it. You fucking rock, brother. You fucking Rockner, brother. And OZ Skies, uh, I'm sorry it took this long for me to do the third phase of Moon video, but th there you go. And don't worry, because you think this is okay, just fucking wait for the In Focus UFOs debunk. You're going to fucking love that one too. All right. Well, make sure you guys like and subscribe, comment, come say what's up because I always talk to everybody, okay? All right, you guys. UFO proof out. And you know it. You've seen a UFO. Most people probably have, but they're not going to tell anybody because they're afraid to share their experience. And that's why we're here. That's why we have the lines open every Friday to share your story. So let's go to some callers. They are lining up. And it will be something I'm sure we've never heard before. So let's let's prepare ourselves and have an open mind to whatever's out there. 541, you're live. Welcome to the show. Hello, Blake, am I on? Hey. When it comes to ufology, there's only one name you can trust. The Cousins Brothers. Blake. Cousins, Brent Cousins, and introducing their cousin, Bill Brothers. Welcome back, world. We're doing it again. It's Friday, and it is time to take calls from around the world in regards to this UFO phenomenon. It's happening right now. Hey, first time caller, long time listener. Listen, I just want to say I'm such a huge fan, and I think what you guys are going through is bullshit. Having all these debunkers coming out, destroying all your videos, that's that's not fair, that's not right. Like, take this one guy. First you have a uh, UFO theater, 